Why, hello there! I didn't quite see you there! But, what is going on, guys? Uh, I have no idea what I was trying to do in that intro. Um, but, the prices for the 2015 uh, Summer Wave of Ninjago have been released. And so, the first uh, set price is the 70736 Attack of the Moro Dragon, which will retail for $69.99 USD and the SRP stands for the set retail price and uh, it will be um, released in August and featured uh, in the TV show during the September, November or December months. Um, so now that is the Moral Dragon, let's go on uh, to the next uh, price, which is the uh, Air Jitsu Flyers. Now, this is just talking about one specific one. Here you have the J Air Jitsu Flyer, but you have the Kai Air Jitsu Flyer price tag. Um, but each uh, Air Jitsu Flyer will be retailed for $9.99 USD. And it will also be scheduled for release in August. I'm pretty sure that all the uh, 2015 Summer Wave of Ninjago sets are scheduled for August. So that is something that is really cool to look forward to. Um, these Air Jitsu Flyers are honestly pretty cool. Um, they kind of look like flying Beyblades. Um, but I will always mess up sometimes. I've messed up several times. In recordings that I didn't actually publish because I called them spinners. Um, I called them flying spinners um, by accident and so I did not publish those videos <laughs> uh, that I actually um, used the term flying spinner but uh, continuing <laughs> um, to the 70733 Blaster Bike. Now this set, I actually have to say, is very nicely done. Uh, I'm actually gonna pull up a image of the blast. Bl the I almost called it the Bastard Bike. The Blaster Bike. <laughs> the Blaster Bike um, will be retailing for $19.99 uh, USD and is also scheduled for release in August. Honestly, the blaster bike looks very solid. Um, you do get, I believe that is either Spider or Soul, and you get uh, the new Cole minifigure, and you get that uh, machine gun uh, uh, stud blaster, right? And you also get a uh, two screamers, actually. I'm sure, those little tiny ghost slimy things. So you get, you're gonna get the blaster bike and you're also going to be getting a little tiny dragon for the ghosts um so now the master Wu dragon 70734 uh set retail price is 39.99 if you guys haven't seen the master Wu dragon i highly re uh, recommend you guys see the price and look at the set. It has 575 pieces. It contains five minifigures. I have to say this is one of the best deals in LEGO history. I mean, you're going to be basically getting a huge dragon um, with Sensei Wu, his teapot. You're also going to be getting coal. You're going to be getting three ghosts. You're going to be getting a small little ballista. You're also going to be getting a husky dog a screamer, and a little tiny outpost. Honestly, this set looks like the best set uh, retail-wise for your Ninjago collection. So honestly, really good, solid set uh, for the 2015 wave. Uh, next, we have the 70735 Ronin Rex, which will be priced at $49.99 USD. And honestly, before I call this set a piece of trash, and I still think that this set is a piece of trash, but the thing that made me change my mind just a slight little bit is that the price is $50 instead of the $70 retail price that everybody thought it was going to be, um, even though that is quite a bit ridiculous. Um, but in this set, we're going to be getting four minifigures. Uh, Gultar, uh, I believe that that is Bansha, um, Ronin, and Kai. And we're also going to be getting a Screamer and a little tiny dragon. And then the Ronin Rex with a um, Air Jitsu Flyer 
uh, built into the Ronin Rex. Looks like a pretty cool set, um, but as I said it before, still kind of looks like a piece of trash. <laughs> um, so now we're going to go on to the Titan Mech Battle. Another great deal. Um, basically, in this set, we're going to be getting one uh, Ghost Mech with four arms, and we're also going to be getting Zane's Ice Mech. And in this set, I believe we're going to be getting uh, Gultar again. We're going to be getting Samurai X. We're going to be getting Zane. And I think that that is Bansha too. I I'm not even sure. Uh, but uh, somebody is in there operating something. Um, and so uh, 754 pieces for $60. This is honestly one of the best deals I have seen in my entire life. Um, I believe actually the Jabba's Palace uh, in 2012 that was released had 700 something pieces and it was retailed at $120, which was completely ridiculous. And honestly, uh, Lego is picking up their game, honestly. Looks pretty cool. Um, and then we have the 70738 Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty, 119.99 uh, USD. And it will be featured in the September, November, December TV series uh, on Cartoon Network. And it is scheduled for release in August. Now, this set is something that I will definitely pick up for you guys. Um, many of you have actually said that you will not pick this up just because it's so large. And this is just too much that you would ever spend on a set. Well, considering that most of the people were those people that purchased the Epic Dragon Battle and the Epic Fire Temple, or whatever, the File, t fi file Temple. <laughs> the Fire Temple. I, I, I'm just going to just look you guys straight in the mouths and just go, what? <laughs> like, honestly, if you guys got two $120 sets and you don't want to get the uh, Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty, I I'm just utterly confused. I mean, you know, sure, the first Destiny's Bounty was $80, but it only had seven minifigures. It had, like, this weird little shrine uh, with the Hypnobri staff. It had Scales, Slithera, Lord Garmadon, um, I'm pretty sure we got a Kendo J, a Kendo Zane, and a Sensei Wu. Would that even make it... Yeah, I'm... Pr Seven mini, uh, six or seven minifigures. That set honestly was terrible. I did not like the first Destiny's Bounty. And obviously, the second version of the Destiny's Bounty should be more than the original. And the dog should obviously have some more upgrades and look nicer. So honestly, this Destiny's Bounty looks fantabulous. I just love the sails. I love that little emblem in the middle. Um, I love the dragon head with that cannon sticking out. We get nine uh, minifigs, and we also get a dragon for the ghosts. So honestly, I don't know why everybody's, you know, ignoring this set, saying you won't get it. You know, maybe save up for Christmas, and, you, you know, Santa Claus might just happen to spot it at the local, local Target or Walmart, and, you know, boom. Right there, you got the set. But honestly, guys, uh, these are the prices that we have so far. Uh, we don't actually have a price on the Jaywalker 1 set, uh, which is rumored to be a store exclusive. But I'm not sure that it will be a store exclusive because that set seems a little bit too small um, for it to be an in-store exclusive. But I'm actually going to scroll back uh, to the uh, Moral Dragon set uh, because I actually didn't you know go over what were the highlights of that set so I might as well do it now better now uh, better later than never as they say <laughs> um, but this set is going to have 658 pieces honestly looks amazing one of the best dragons that Lego has ever released to date um, you're going to be getting uh, rumored to be evil Lloyd rumored to be uh, the Ghost of Ronin, uh, Bansha, uh, another Bansha, uh, Kai, and Jay. Uh, so it seems, and a little shrine. So honestly, at $70, uh, it's a pretty good solid set, I have to say. 
Um, I do like it, and I think that this is going to be an excellent set. And I have to say, the Ninjago uh, 2015 Summer Wave is a pretty solid wave. I'm going to be uh, purchasing all the sets, even the Ronin Rex, even though it is a pile of trash, because I have a partnered with a, a YouTube partnership company, which basically is going to be now uh, cashing or providing me with money to upload more videos and so I'm going to be using that money that they provide me to purchase the new 2015 summer wave sets and I'm also planning to purchase the Nin Ninja DBX uh, on March 1st um, I'm not sure about my decision because there are actually sets that I want other than that but uh, if I uh, I'm just setting um, a hundred dollar limit to spend uh, when I visit the Lego store on March 1st um, and so, it's either the DBX and a little small $20 set, or it's going to be the Titanium Dragon, uh, you know, Contra Copter Attack, uh, the Boulder Blaster, you know, the Titanium Dragon, Enter the Serpent, whatever I choose. Maybe I might just get the little tiny sets and, you know, call it a day. I don't know. I honestly have no clue. But please tell me, guys, what you think down in the comment section below about these new sets and their prices uh, I would love to hear opinions from you guys um, because you know I have my own opinions but you guys might have yours well you guys obviously have your opinions you know because you're different and that's a good thing so thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like for the latest Lego Ninjago news and updates without further ado thank you guys so much for watching I don't know why am I talking so quickly but without further ado thank you guys so much for watching and please leave a like for more Lego Ninjago videos and stay awesome guys and I'll catch you guys in my next video ciao guys who man that was pretty